Have you ever tried macro buttons in Excel? It can get you multiple types of output just from a click and you can create edit that as well. Hello there, this is Fariha Tulmim from Excel Demi, your one stop for Excel blog posts, discussion forum, templates and VBA related answers. Here we have a data set of six salesperson with their sales amount. We will create a general code to count the row number the data set is using. We will discuss how to create a macro button in Excel. Using three methods, we will add a macro button and complete the task. We will use Excel 365 for that. You can use any other available Excel versions as well. Let's get down to the video. To insert a general code, we need to go to Developer tab first. If you don't have your developer tab within your ribbon, customize the ribbon. Right click on it and go to customize the ribbon. From here, under the main tabs, you need to check mark on developer if it's like that. Click on it. OK. This tab helps us to write macro codes, use XML commands, ActiveX controls, and some actions via Microsoft Visium. To use the button, we need to run a code first. From the code group, select Visual Basic. You can do that using Alter F11 as well. Now we will insert a module so that that code can work along all the sheets within our workbook. Go to Insert tab and click on Module. Here, count underscore used underscore rows is our macro name. We are declaring range and row counting as long and range type of entries on the used range of any active sheet for loop range variable in rows if count value of the range is greater than zero then the count will get an increment of one let's end the if statement then next to end the for loop finally ending the with statement. Now we will see an output in the form of message box to show number of used row. Ampersand mid counter will get the count value. Let's close our module with end sub. Let's save the code. Close the VBA window. Now let's see how to add a macro button based on this code. Now our first method is using form control button. For that, from the developer tab, Notice in the controls group there is an insert drop down. Click on it and choose button from forms control. As we can see a plus sign on our screen, left click on mouse and drag it to where you want the button to be. Now we can see that releasing the click will redirect us to assign macro window. The macro we initially added to the module as the sub, this one. Click on it, OK. Now you can see button number here using the edit mode we can change the name to use rules there we are now right clicking on it we can access many other options now if we click on the button we can see that number of used row is eight whereas we can see one for title one for column headers and six sale person so eight rows is correct answer now we will learn how to use ActiveX control button to add a macro button. From the developer tab under the controls group, click on insert dropdown and from the ActiveX controls section, click on button. As the plus sign on our screen, drag it till we want our button. If we right click on it, we can see there is common button object. Edit. Now we can change the name to use rows. There we are. Now, right clicking on it, we can see from the context menu, go to view code. Here we can see that an event has opened for common button 1 or the used rows we added just now. The code we wrote earlier, we can just copy it here. Remove the sub portion only. Now, let's close the window. Now, if we click on the button of used rows, we can see number of used row is 8. In this method, we will insert shapes to create a 
macro button. Go to Insert tab and from the Illustrations group, click on Shapes drop down. Let's choose this one. Add it here and double click here to type Use Rows. Let's format it. And for the text, let's make it bold, center aligned, and font 20. Now, right clicking on it, we can see there is assign macro. Here we can see our previously added macro. Click on it. OK. Now, if we click on it, we can see the message box with the dialog of number box used rows is 8. Now, our final method is using quick access toolbar. For that, we need to customize our quick access toolbar. Here, click on quick access toolbar drop down. Go to more commands. And from the Excel options window, from the category here, choose macros. This option will include our pre saved macro, which is count used rows. Click on it, add here, go to modify. We can add our preferred icon here. Let's add this one. Okay. Now we can see this icon is added as our macro. Now if we click on it, we can directly get the use row number on our screen. Okay. Among all these methods, you can try any of them according to your convenience. You can practice this with the help of the Excel file in the description box below. Let us know if you could do it in the comment section. Share your suggestions and feedback as well. You can visit our website exceldemy.com and reach out to our forum for all your VBA or Excel related problems free of cost. Stay tuned by subscribing to the channel and clicking on the bell icon. Thanks for watching.